sequel. It is monoterpenoid monoterpenoid having two isoprene unit isoprene unit this compound is acyclic acyclic it is obtained from the extract of the lemongrass lemongrass this compound is isolated in the form of pale yellow liquid pale yellow liquid it is found in two forms citral a and citral b these two forms are geometrical isomers isomers and the compounds are optically inactive so our citral is simplest terpenoid terpenoid In the terpenoid series, generally two type of questions are asked. First, first type A establish. the constitution of citral citral and in the second type of question we are asked to establish that Citral is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. That in the question it is it can be asked that how you can establish that citral is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. In questions, it is, or we have to establish the total number of total number of number of double bonds. in any situation if we have the idea of the constitution of citral we can answer any type of question asked related with this unit so we are going to first establish the structure or constitution of citral
the structure and constitution of citron. And the constitution can be summarized by using the following points. Number one, molecular formula. The molecular established molecular formula of the compound is C10S16O. This molecular formula was established through elemental analysis, elemental analysis, analysis, and then molecular weight determination. weight determination by using these two informations it is possible to establish the molecular formula for citrate number two then the unsaturation factor or index of hydrogen deficiency or double bond ring equivalent of the compound is calculated. Unsaturation factor factor UF is calculated. This unsaturation factor is obtained from the hydrocarbon of the compound. If the compound is oxygen containing, hydrocarbon of the compound can be imagined by removing all oxygens from the molecular formula. So the expected hydrocarbon of the molecule is C10S16. By using the expected molecular formula of the hydrocarbon, it is possible to calculate the unsaturation factor of the compound. It is always equal to total number of hydrogen in alkane with equivalent number of carbon. So it has 10 carbons. So alkane of 10 carbons must have 22 hydrogen. So it is 22 minus hydrogen in the expected hydrocarbon by 2. It is equal to 3. This indicates that the compound is unsaturated or cyclic. The unsaturation factor indicates the presence of multiple bonds in the molecule or presence of ring in the compound. If the unsaturation factor is 3, there are following possibilities. There are following possibilities. These possibilities are number A. 3 double bonds, double bonds in a cyclic chain, chain or one triple bond plus one double bond. bond in a cyclic chain a cyclic chain b two double bonds plus monocyclic ring ring and C one double bond and one one bicyclic ring bicyclic ring we have fifth pause pos we have B possibility also one triple bond with one monocyclic ring. 
taking these possibilities, we have to prove, we have to establish that the compound is acyclic. Then, three point number three. Citral, citral forms, forms tetra bromo derivative. Tetra bromo derivative. C ten S sixteen O when allowed to react with bromine solution, it gives C ten S sixteen Br four O and this compound is called tetra bromo citrate. By using this reaction, we can only say that the molecule having either two double bonds or one triple bond. This citral, our citral, citral, when hydrogenated in the presence of palladium catalyst, palladium catalyst, this is called selective hydrogenation, it is converted into C10H20O, this is called tetrahydro derivative. This reaction is specific for carbon-carbon double bond. So by using hydrogenation, selective hydrogenation, we can say that the molecule contains two carbon-carbon double bonds. Two carbon-carbon double bonds. Double bonds. Number four. Citral reacts with hydroxylamine to form oxine and reacts with phenyl hydrazine to produce hydrazone hydrazone c10 s16 o these two reactions are character characteristics of carbonyl group carbonyl compounds if the given compound is aldehyde or ketone it can easily form oxine with hydroxylamine and hydrazone with phenyl hydrazine so we can write c9 h16 co This is called citral oxine and when it is allowed to react with 
फिनाइल हाइड्राजीन इट गिव्स सी नाइन एस सिक्सटीन This is called citral hydrogen. So these two reaction confirms that the compound is either aldehyde or ketone. Citral on boiling with Freshly prepared ammonical silver nitrate, that is with Tollens reagent, it forms silver ether. A positive silver ether test is obtained, and the compound citral is converted into monocarboxylic acid. Monocarboxylic acid. Acid without change in color. Change in color. And this reaction is characteristics of aldehyde. So by using reactions four and reaction five, we can say that our citral is an aldehyde and. by using the previous reactions we have proved that the compound having two double bonds so overall we can say that we can say that we can say that our citral citral c10s16o contains Two carbon-carbon double bonds plus an aldehyde group. So this confirms that the molecule having three double bonds. Two double bonds in the form of carbon-carbon double bond, and one double bond is is in the form of carbon-oxygen double bond. So by using Ever reactions, we can say that citral is acyclic, acyclic with three double bonds, double bonds, double bonds. Now we have to establish. Our next step is to establish the position of double bonds. in the molecules with respect to aldehyde group fifth position of the Position of double bonds. <clears throat> position of double bonds. In order to establish the position of double bond, following we can take help of the following reactions. Number one. formation of formation of di sodium bisulfide salt bisulfide salt di sodium bisulfide salt and this reaction is characteristics of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound 
सिंपल कार्बोनाइल कंपाउंड गिव्स अस सोडियम बाइसल्फाइड सॉल्ट एंड वेन द कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप इज attached with carbon carbon double bond that is conjugated with carbon carbon double bond we will get disodium bisulfide salt through nucleophilic addition on carbon carbon double bond we have ch double bond ch this is cho and when it is allowed to react with na h so3 it will give us first ch double bond ch this is ch oh and then Tautomerization of the enolic form. We have CH OSO two Na. This is S shifts from OH to carbon. This one is CH two, and this is our CHO. And then. it can react with the second molecule of sodium bisulfite to provide us ch oso2 na this is ch2 ch oso2 na and this one is oh this is called di sodium bisulfite salt and it is the characteristics of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound this reaction confirms that one double bond is conjugated with the aldehyde group dusra alkali degradation alkali degradation alkali degradation when citral c10s16o is strongly heated with weakly alkaline medium weakly alkaline medium it generates a methyl ketone plus acetaldehyde acetaldehyde the formation of methyl ketone along with acetaldehyde confirms that the compound is alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde in which the beta unsaturated carbon is methyl substituted methyl substituted methyl substituted we have c cs3 double bond ch this is cho this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon conjugated with aldehyde group and this beta carbon if contains a methyl when it is heated with sodium carbonate weakly alkaline medium strongly heated with weakly alkaline medium conjugate nucleophilic addition takes place
so alkali degradation confirms also confirms that the compound is alpha beta unsaturated that is a carbon carbon double bond is conjugated with the aldehyde group in which the beta unsaturated carbon is methyl substituted the third one in which we are going to establish the position of the second double bond ozonolysis ozonolysis when this compound is exposed with ozone at very low temperature and then the form of ozone is degraded degraded in a weakly acidic medium three products are obtained the products are number 1 four oxo pentenal acetone and glyoxal similar products were obtained by the fourth reaction glyoxylation oxidation glyoxylation oxidation when this compound is allowed to react with aqueous KMnO4 it gives tetra hydroxy derivative derivative of citral and this tetra hydroxy derivative when exposed with periodic acid periodic acid we will get similar products these are called oxidative degradations of the compound when these degradation products are united we will get the probable structure for citral probable structure for citral through oxidative degradation we will have first product second product and third product when these three products are united in this way
we have this structure. Structure A. There is second possibility of the union. Both structures A and B on degradation can generate the above products. Above products. Now the question arises what is the actual structure of citrate? In a structure A, Aldehyde is conjugated with a double bond. In a structure B, aldehyde is again conjugated with carbon-carbon double bond. In a structure A, the beta carbon of unsaturated group is methyl substituted. And in this case, methyl substituent is absent on beta carbon. By taking the reference of the alkaline degradation, it is suggested that the most probable structure for citral will be this part. This is A and this is called most probable structure. Or citral. This citral when heated with potassium hydrogen sulfate antihydrating agent is converted into an aromatic compound known as parasimine. 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 The formation of parasimine by citral can be easily proved if the structure A is possible for citral. For example, for example,
So we have now established that structure A is the most probable structure for citron. Finally, the structure of citron can be proved by its synthesis. 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 In this reaction, acetone is first allowed to react with ethyne. Simply, this acetic hydrogen is replaced by a strongly basic amide ion, carbon ion is formed, and a nucleophilic addition takes place. We have C, CS3, CS3. This is now C triple bond CH CH and this became OH OH This is nucleophilic addition at carbonyl carbon This compound is selectively reduced in which carbon-carbon triple bond is reduced to carbon-carbon double bond. We have then CH double bond CH2 this is C OH this is CS3 this is CS3 and then this is allowed to react with PBR3 Allylic bromination takes place. Allylic bromination takes place. And then we have C, CS3, CS3, double bond CH, and this is CH2, beer. H2O is replaced, rearrangement takes place, and bromine is added here. This is called allylic bromination. This compound, the form compound, is then exposed with Ethyl acetoacetate, sodium salt of ethyl acetoacetate. And then we have here C double bond C CS3. This is CS3. This is our CH2. This is CH. This one is COOET. This one is CO CS3. This compound on hydrolysis gives a beta keto acid. Hydrolysis gives a beta keto acid. Beta keto acid
सॉरी नॉट बीटा कीटो एसिड इट इज अल्फा कीटो एसिड इन हॉट कंडीशन वी हैव हियर सी डबल बॉन्ड सी सी एस थ्री सी एस थ्री This is CH two. This is CH two. This is CO, and this is our CS three. CS three. We can write the structure of the compound as. reaction intermediate in the synthesis and this intermediate through reformesque reaction is converted into citric a ketone when exposed with alpha halo ester is converted into beta hydroxy ester beta hydroxy ester on dehydration it is com- converted into this compound and on alkaline hydrolysis this ester is converted into calcium salt and then when heated with calcium acetate the ester group is converted into aldehyde so we have synthesized citral through various steps so the co- synthesis is very important part in the constitution of citral in citral in the structure of citral there is no asymmetric carbon there is no asymmetric carbon but cis trans isomerism is possible around this double bond we have two forms
This is fog. Z fog. This is Z fog. Transform Z fog. And this is called citral B. Citral B. And this is called this citral B is the first form. We have another form of citral this is E4 E4 and this is called citral A so these two forms are this trans isomers of citral and a slight difference in boiling point is expected so this ends citral in the next class we will try to establish the structure for alpha turbidoyl thank you